Hi, Assalamualaikum. In this video, I will be sharing with you about um, these plants which I have been growing ever since June. It's a Chinese cabbage. Okay, um, I grew it from seed. Okay, so I got this uh, pack of seed from a supermarket. Um, cost me about two dollar plus only, and I've planted it on some planters so there's one of them over here actually I have about two of these planters uh, but the cabbage will be crowded so I've removed some of them or I would, I would rather say I transferred some of them to other uh, pots okay so what you see over here is a uh, cabbage won't that be one um, two three and four okay um, yeah so as I mentioned initially there were there were a few more of them but I find that it was a bit too crowded so I um, transplanted some of them away to other locations okay so quick one you may be wondering uh, whether it's uh, is it difficult to grow this cabbage honestly it's not so difficult all right so basically you just need the seed it's very small Okay, I will show the seed later on and what I do is that I'll just plant on this soil so this is a mixture of a potting and normal soil okay which again I bought it from the supermarket uh, yep to be particular I bought it from uh, Giant for those of you who are living in Singapore I bought it from the Giant supermarket so I mix the soil and I just planted the seeds now when you plant the seeds uh, because um, you're not you're not really sure whether all the seeds will grow so you will generally plant uh, the seeds um, slightly close together so if you can see over here there are two cabbage heads over there okay so uh, so you can imagine that I have one seed here this is the one that you're seeing right now and I would have one more right over here okay so as they, as they grow uh, I start to remove uh, those that doesn't look uh, too good all right yeah or what we call the process of uh, thinning okay so good thing for this pack they actually show you they actually show you how to can how you can actually grow so sewing method there's a normal normal germination method which we have learned in school um, so thinning Thinning is a process whereby you you remove the the seedlings which are not, not growing so well. Okay. Alternatively, if you do not want to do the thinning, you can actually from the beginning sow the seeds at good distances, but that is on the um, assumption that they will actually grow well. Okay. But because um, these are non-GMO seeds, non-GMO seeds meaning, uh, well, they are they are not genetically modified, so there's a chance that probably some of them may not grow well, okay, because of the lack of chemicals, uh, you know, there's less modification, so the so the um, seeds, the vegetable may not may not look so nice at the start, okay, so hence that's why. Uh, farmers will just pour as many seeds as they can and then later on just remove those they are not growing so well okay so the beautiful thing about cabbage is that once you cut any of the leaves all right this plant will not die they will actually regrow again so what you have seen what you're looking over here is cabbage which have been harvested i would say over five times all right so when i trim off so you can see all this um the remains of the trims okay of the cuttings where, where i harvested and and consumed them all right so new leaves will grow and alhamdulillah is is continuously growing okay so cabbage is a wonderful plant if you do not want to always end up uh, growing from uh, seed so technically this pack of um, 200 seeds I still have a lot more inside okay I still have a lot more inside okay all right next question which you may have is about um, 
the sunlight requirement ok I'm going to show you roughly where this planter is this is uh, at about now we are at 12.30 and the sun is right over there so meaning this location only gets the afternoon sun ok so I've been trying to um, experiment around so I have the planters over here this is the closest as I can get to the railing and even so I will only get the afternoon sun probably over a few hours alright I have also tried to get the planter somewhere over here this will get this area will get less of the afternoon sun but still bright enough so you can see some of my other plants growing pretty okay so in short you do not really need to get a sunny uh, place where where which gets um, totally direct sunlight all right yeah so alhamdulillah this location is good enough especially um, i'm not sure maybe if, if you live in singapore this is ideal because uh, singapore is a uh, quite a humid country hot and humid okay so uh, if you get direct sunlight um, well it just means that probably you may need to water the plants a little a little bit more often okay so you still got to try it out different locations as for the water supply um, I make it a point to water the plants uh, the water the soil every morning uh, not to flood the whole soil but just to wet the, the soil okay uh, best rule of time is to water the soil or to wet, wet, wet the soil um, before 10 a.m. Uh, reason being the hotter it gets the, the faster the soil will dry up okay so this soil you can check um, right now it's at 12 o'clock I have some soil on my finger here so it's pretty okay all right okay so as if you had caught what I said just now um, this this whole planter set has been here for five months okay so the soil do get do get a uh, kicked or I would say in short a uh, hardened so what I do is I have get some um, sticks and I just poke it occasionally to allow air to enter the soil and not only that by making holes in the ground uh, when I water the plant and when I water the soil itself uh, the water can enter the soil alright okay so this is good alhamdulillah um, you should try I would strongly recommend you to try to grow cab cabbage um, yeah main reason is that uh, it grows easily you get quite a lot of leaves for one for one plant okay and the best part of it is that uh, personally for me is that it can regrow itself okay so you don't have to always restart from a new seed again okay so all right have fun and do try it out okay okay bye bye